afternoon. Now, this video documentation is in regards to the 04 to 06 two door uh, facelift E46 headlights. I actually have a sample uh, E46 uh, four, uh, two door uh, 04 to 06 uh, headlights right here. Um, what I'm kind of showing you overview is regarding the, the HID testing, making sure that it's uh, the, uh, to see if the concern is with the HID components or with the vehicle not being compatible with the canvas kit on the one headlight side or even both, possibly both. So um, I've taken the time actually uh, uh, kind of uh, run down quickly of the overview. So uh, behind the headlights, you'll see two connectors, obviously. One's gonna be uh, uh, for the high beam, the other one's gonna be for the low beam. I've already wired it correctly uh, in terms of the polarity, positive and negative, to the low beam connector, which is the 9006 connector. If you can trace the wire around right here, red's my positive, yellow's my grounding negative. You'll see that um, I have my test leads right here according to the positive and negative and it's already hooked up with the alligator clamp to the main uh, depot headlights 9006 connector so i have a 12 volt power supply that i'm actually using the bun uh, bench test for so i would ask you uh, to see if you can have a, a pen bench test unit to uh, test these headlights separate from the vehicle so running with the bench test uh, what i have already done is wired the hid uh, system within these headlights but i pulled out the bulb so that you can follow me regarding how the wiring should be and how it should look so starting with the main connection where the power is being fed to the headlights, which is the 9006 connector, from there you'll uh, see that the wires internally routes to this internal H7 connector, this brown and yellow uh, colored wire. The yellow will be positive for the low beam, the brown or the salmon color will be the negative. You can already see I, I have the H7 spade connector or uh, this ver bulb version already has a connector version of this. If you have just simply the spade connectors, make sure that the red is inserted to the yellow and then the black spade connector is inserted to the grounding negative. So, uh, being the case, polarity is a factor for the HID components. So once I have the internal H7 connector connected to the HID bulbs uh, H7 connector, this wire runs down to the ballast. And this is uh, also a 9006 connector. What I ask for you to do is double check to make sure that the polarity alignment for this connector is correct. In the case if you have incorrect polarity, the bulb will never turn on. So again, uh, for this canvas bus, the inner side of the wire is positive. As you can double check the engraving, you'll see that the inner side towards this wire is positive, the outer side is negative. So following that, so I'm making sure inside positive, outside negative. Red for positive, black for negative. Uh, making sure they have firm contact and connection with this connector, then moving on. So the power gets routed in here, the ballast and the igniter ignites. The, uh, uh, the voltage so that the bulb can ignite uh, to allow the HID xenon uh, to pretty much burn. So the wire, the power kind of follows this way back to the HID bulb to power the HID bulb. This connector is a male female, you can't go wrong because it only connects one way, so I'm not really concerned about that. So once this whole connection has been made, I'm just simply going to turn on my power supply. This xenon bulb is going to fire up. So this is actually the bench testing I'm asking for you to do. You don't need to pull out the HID bulbs, but I'm asking you to directly test using this 9006 connector with a separate 12-volt uh, power supply to supply power to the xenon bulb to see if it lights up or not. Of course, make sure that these contact points and the polarity are all aligned because they are a factor for HID components. So I'm going to fire up right now. You can see that xenon fires up, no issues. This is pretty much our bench testing, what we do previous to ship out to uh, uh, your customer. So if you can help me out, bench test this to make sure that the HID components within the depot headlights are good, then this tells me that the concern might be with the customer's vehicle maybe rejecting the, the uh, canvas components. So if that's the case, I'm wondering if I can work with you to uh, see if I can uh, <clears throat> ship you uh, our HID vendor's relay system so that uh, the HID bulbs and um, bells can borrow power from the battery pulse rather than the vehicle's ECU as the ECU is rejecting the HID components. All right, so furthermore, if you're running through all this bench test and you're still not able to uh, uh, pretty much turn on the headlights or the lobe is still not working, you can still separately bench test the HID components away from the headlights to see if it's an issue with the headlights connection or with just the HID components. So here's how to do that real quick. All right, go ahead and unplug the, the HID bulb. So you free that up. So once you unplug the HID bulb from the projector, you should have uh, this freed up. The only thing that uh, I can assume that you're uh, having extra would be the rear housing cap already loomed through these wires. So beyond that, that's all you should have. Take the headlights out of the equation. So move the headlights aside. So uh, I'm gonna borrow these uh, alligator clamps to go ahead and directly power the HID components. So go ahead and disconnect this 9006 connector because I'm going to use this entry point as a testing uh, connection. 
If you want to still uh, use this, uh, the entire system uh, as it is, that's no problem. Then your new testing points, you can test it directly from here, or you can test them directly from here. So I'll, I'll show you testing it from here just to make sure, you know, uh, HID components separate from the, the headlights are working with no issues. So again, polarity is a factor. So I'm going to have my grounding negative with my grounding negative uh, connection, positive or positive. So if I have everything uh, correctly aligned in terms of the, the connections, I should just fire up the power supply and I should see this bulb light up with no issues. That's the case again. So this is a manual bench testing separate from the headlights directly with the HID components. This is also something that you could do to rule out the HID components being a factor from uh, affecting the overall low beam functionality on the one side. Lastly, if you're able to bench test the headlights with no issues and the HIDs have issues working on the headlights separate from the vehicle but on the power supply unit, here's the last test I just want to verify making sure that the internal connection of the wires are all good. So if you have a stock halogen H7 bulb, again this can be easily sourced from the high beam bulb, no problem. Uh, it's also that you can use this as a temporary means for the testing. Go ahead and plug this H7 halogen bulb onto the H internal H7 connector. Again, you have to free up the HID bulb connection for this. So just simply plug in. Halogen bulb does not have polarity issues, so you can plug in whichever way you want. They should light up whichever way uh, uh, polarity aligned. So just plugged in. Set this aside real quick. All right. So one more time, I'm gonna wire the alligator clamps to the low beam connection and fire it up. For the halogen testing, I'm not too worried about polarity, so uh, I'm overlooking on that part. But again, this is simply to test that the internal wires from this main connector that looms into this internal H7 connector, they're all good. So one more time, fired up with no issues. So again, all this testing is con concluding that the H7 component's good that the internal headlights the wiring are good. So if they're all working separate from the vehicle and when you connect this on your vehicle, they don't work. This tells me that this is a compatibility issue and we should be working on towards uh, seeing if uh, the load beams can be powered manually rather than using the vehicle's uh, uh, ECU and onboard computer's uh, power being the case that the, the vehicle detects the aftermarket canvas ballast and is wanting to shut off maybe the one side. Hopefully this video is a bit clearer as this is of your headlights and then if you can help me follow up in regard to an update from your testing and findings, this would help me work further with uh, the customer. Thanks so much for your time.